On Wall Street, all eyes this week are on two industry leaders in the wearable tech space. Apple and Fitbit will report their earnings after the markets close, today and tomorrow respectively. So what should we watch for? Market Snacks co-founders Jack Kramer and Nick Martell are here to explain. Great to have you both here. Thanks, Meg. This is kind of an exciting time for both of you. I know you're watching this news closely. Let's start with mm -hmm. Apple. The earnings reports are going to come out later today. We know that CEO Tim Cook says that there has been this pause waiting for the iPhone 8. What does that all that mean? So this was a total lame duck quarter when it comes to Apple. And that's because they're projecting, and we think they had about $45 billion in sales this quarter. Now that's better than the $42 billion they did in the same quarter the year before, but it's below the nearly $50 billion they did two years ago, which was a record. And it's all because this iPhone 8 is the best thing and the worst thing to happen to them. Jack, what, how important is this for investors? Well, this quarter, when the report come out this afternoon, we're looking at one number, $51 billion. That's the guidance for next quarter. More than that, we think that the iPhone 8 is scheduled on time to come out in mid-September. Lower than that, then the rumors that there are supply issues with the new iPhone 8 could be true, and that could be a bad, bad news for the stock. Nick, China, um, Apple has been struggling in China mm -hmm. quite a bit. Do you expect uh, Tim Cook to address that today? Oh my God, we totally hope he addresses uh -huh. this. I mean, China has been the only region that's actually seen a sales slowdown for Apple, which was pretty surprising. Now, the bright side is that it only sales only dipped about 8% there uh, this past quarter compared Why? to the previous Why year. Why is it slowing down? Well, there are a couple key issues. One is they haven't had the management structure there. They only just added a head of China for Apple. So that's one thing. And then the other one has to do with the operating system. Yeah, they've actually made some tweaks to the operating system specific to China. And one of those is actually that they shut down 60 mm -hmm. VPNs in the App Store just mm -hmm. yesterday. VPNs are a way that you can get around China's great uh, censorship firewall. So by doing that, Apple is kind of throwing a bone to the, to the Chinese government to get back in their good graces. All right, let's turn to Fitbit, the wearable tech company. They are going to announce its earnings at the close of the market tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So what are you watching for with these results? Oh my God, one thing, we got to get an update on what's <laughs> happening with Fitbit's smartwatch. Uh -huh. You know, there have been rumors about how delayed this has been. And the reality is that consumers really want to go to a multi-purpose smartwatch that can support third-party apps. And that's what they promised it would be. But the problem is Apple has basically done to Fitbit with its Apple Watch what Apple did to BlackBerry with its iPhone just a few years ago. So Apple is doing better now than Fitbit, correct? Apple's doing better than Fitbit. They just took the lead in the wearables market. Um, we think Fitbit really needs to learn a lesson right now. Jawbone is dead. Pebble is out of business. Intel just shut down its wearables division. So we think the single purpose fitness tracker that those companies produced, mm -hmm. that's not the business line you want to be in. So we hope that Fitbit keeps its smartwatch going and focuses also on this health angle to have a multi-dynamic component. Jack, if it doesn't do that, is there still a place in the market for them? We think, you know, a, a discount Apple Watch, maybe. Okay, all right. All right, well, thank you to both of you. Thanks, Big Nick. news also on Wall Street today. We might see a... Uh, the Dow hit 22,000? Yeah, I mean, it just keeps creeping up record yeah. highs every week all summer long. All right, appreciate it, Nick and Jack. Yeah. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank Thanks, you. Meg.